Mr. Trump insulted for four months on television and ironically called her fat and he himself is not a thin man. Who was the friend that you wanted to bring in? Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, she's disgusting. She's a fantastic woman. Oh, she's disgusting. Cindy, I know her so well. She's disgusting. No, I know her so well. You don't know her. All right, well, okay. I mean, she only went to my wedding. Can you believe that she went to my wedding? What wedding? I don't know her. She went to my wedding. Rosie. Someone invited her. She didn't come uninvited. Unfortunately, somebody invited her. That's true. But she's a friend of yours. And you know what? If she is, I'm never going to talk to But he definitely did not want me to um, play his game or his show for, as he put it, the gays. No one would want to vote for you for the gays. Civil rights is a tricky thing. You take it away and single out one group. The next group might be yours. You don't know. But that's how trouble starts in a society. And when I left that show, he said some really bad things about the LGBTQ community. And I said when I was asked that I was very surprised because he had a lot of LGBTQ people working for him on his staff, selling his show, making him money. He goes around telling everybody he's a good businessman, but good business people don't talk about their employees that way because that's not good for business. The presidency of the United States is a big job and an important job and a job that should be respected and you should be a respectful person if you're going to apply for the job. And the way he talks to the female candidate, um, Secretary Clinton, is just beyond the way he was walking behind her. It's just shocking. I mean, that's all. It's just shocking and sad that that could even happen in our politics.